Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to A Closer Look, where we take a closer look at the Word of God and the theme for that week. This week, the theme is joy. So what is joy? Uh, if we were to look up a de at the definition of joy, the, the definition of joy would be happiness and, you know, uh, fullness, uh, um, you know, uh, pleasure or delight. Um, if I were to define joy, this is a Josiah Rock definition, I would say joy is a, a state of being where you're existing in a state or a reality of bliss. And you know, it's funny, the word of God actually talks a lot about joy. Um, there's one particular verse I want to read with you, and it can be found in Psalms uh, chapter 16, beginning at verse 11. And it reads, thou wilt show me the path of life in thy presence is fullness of of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So let's break it down. Uh, first, let's look at the word fullness. Fullness means to be satisfied. You ever gone to like a dinner somewhere or a lunch or breakfast or whatever, and you've eaten, but you might not have ever been full. You might not have been satisfied. Um, you might have left still being hungry. So it uses here the word of God, it uses the word fullness to show that there is a level that the joy can go, okay? So we, I think we have a good understanding of what joy means, but here it's calling it the fullness of joy. So this, uh, to, to find a real satisfaction, a, a fullness of joy. And it's saying here, it's saying that the fullness of joy, okay, is in the presence of God. So if you wanna feel the real fullness, a satisfaction of real joy, get in God's presence. It feels good when you feel good. But imagine being, finding that joy in God's presence. So I encourage you um, to find joy in your day. Find joy in your week. Even when things are challenging, even when you're feeling disappointed or you might feel down, realize who God is in you and realize who you are in him. Realize that he's already given you the victory. Realize that he's standing with you. There is more with you than that's against you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You can find joy and that anything that, that's happening to you ultimately is going to work out for your good. That's something for us to feel joyful about. Feel joyful that God has given us salvation and that he's coming back soon to take his church, his body, his bride with him, to be with him. We can find joy walking, knowing that we have a loving God that cares for us, that's walking in with us and protecting us and, 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 and looking after his word to perform the things that he said he was going to perform in your life. Isn't that something to be joyful about? I think so. Let me pray for us. Father, Lord God, uh, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for joy. Thank you, Lord God, for letting us experience a joy, Lord, even in the face of sin and, and difficulty and, and challenges and things that, that, that try to tear away, Lord God, at what you have provided for us. The opportunity, Lord God, to feel uh, your joy for us, Lord God. And, and Father, I ask, Lord God, that you uh, help us in our daily walks, Lord God, to adjust our perspective, Lord, so that we might see you instead of seeing the problems, Lord God. Help us, Father, to find true joy through the challenges that we see, or, or, or just even joy in our everyday lives, Lord God through our families, Father, joy with, through, through our children, Lord, uh, joy, Lord God, even on, on our jobs, Lord God, joy in our ministries. Father, help us, Lord God, to experience your joy. Help us to experience your joy, Father. You say in your word, Lord God, that the joy of the Lord is our strength, Lord God. Please, Father, give us your strength now and help us, Father, to experience your joy, which is even greater than our own joy. Father, I ask for a special blessing on every person that's watching. Father, bless their ministries, their finances, their relationships, Lord God. Bless, bless their walks with you, Lord God. Bless them, Lord God, when they are coming and going. Father, bless them, Lord Jesus, even when they are asleep, Lord. Bless them, Father, in their quiet times, Lord God, when they are contemplating who you are and what the next steps are for them, Lord God. Let them feel your, your love and your encouragement, Father. Let them feel your joy. Father, bless this ministry, Lord God. Help us, Father, to accomplish all that you have set us out to accomplish. Lord God, I, I now come against any 
any any illness that's being felt by any person that's watching right now in the name of Jesus, any dis-ease that's being felt or encountered by any person that's watching, I speak healing right now in the name of Jesus over 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 any any illness. I come against the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus. I come against every sickness of the mind in the name of Jesus. I speak encouragement and strength to every person that is watching right now in the name of Jesus. Father, help them to walk tall and walk strong and in confidence, Lord God, in who you are in them, Lord Jesus. Encourage them, Lord, and strengthen them, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. We'll see you next time on A Closer Look.